So our first theme is loving. So spoiler alert, every sermon I preach has the same punchline. God is love. You are loved. Go love others. And it's not a throwaway punchline. It's heavy. It weighs heavily. It is a challenge. It is a mandate to join in the work of being love in this world. Love that brings healing, light and joy is not easy, but I do believe it's what we're for. This Holy Week, we travel through hope, loss, fear, companionship, betrayal, death, emptiness, shock and new life. We replay and remember it every year in the Christian church as that one week in history still speaks to us today. It speaks of the God who knows what it is to be human and all the bruises and scars that come with it. And it is that God who calls us wherever we are in the week, stuck in Monday Thursday's betrayal or Holy Saturday's emptiness, or if you're in a season of Easter Sunday and full of new life, wherever we are, to be part of a movement that lets love take on death, lets light into the dark, lets healing begin where wounds are found. That is what we are for. For this love is not chocolates and fluffy pink hearts. It is fierce. We are called to be loving, not with a head tilt, ready to be pushed and walked all over. It is a love that fights fiercely for the dignity of all creation, for justice, for mercy. So we should not enter into Holy Week and celebrate Easter without being ready to be called to love with the kind of love that brings new life. And that new life cannot begin without the things which get in the way of people flourishing, being fought. So a call to be loving is a call to get our hands dirty our eyes opened, our voices raised. And that's much more interesting than bunny rabbits and baby chicks, right? 